get a grip and get a chip. Won't even trip. Though my cup was running over, I took only a sip. Stay hipping, then I'm hopping, I'm dropping. It won't be flopping, no shock. That whatever I'm selling, you will be copping. He was the strongest, though he was the one that cried. And he chose to kill his brother, cause he was from that side. And why? He chose this son, cause this one had pride. And instead of the narrow road, he chose the one that's why. Sometimes the one that won was the one that tried. And the one who pulled the gun was the one that died. Looking good, a good look is the one that's fine. If I had to pick, fly would be the one that's mine. G-O-D, in the place to be. Attend the heart, not university. And since kindergarten, they've been hiding the knowledge. Homeboy is self-taught, never went to college. I'm brown skin, I'm from Pilon. Raining alarm, then I remain cool and calm. Reading song, fire like napalm bomb. As we proceed to give you what you need, we are in information age on Do You Know Your Value page. It's the content creator with the force like Darth Vader back on the track with the facts and all that. One path is the way that I'm taking, getting closer to God in a tight situation. Tonight, we are going over the annotated glossary from Cracking the Cold 3rd edition, starting where we left off. And so, without further ado, let us begin. In proper persona, in one's own proper person, blacks first, see proper dummy. In REM, a technical term used to designate proceedings instituted against the thing, in contradistinction of personal actions, which are said to be in persona, blacks first. Note, all IRS procedures and actions are in REM under Admiralty Law by definition, a subset of the UCC, CUCC 1103. In this state, see note, Federal Zone Senate Document Number 4373rd Congress, First Session, Con Conference of Governors, March 6, 1933. Note, per California Revenue and Taxation Code, subsections 6017, 11205, 17018 and 23034. The terms in this state, this state and state are defined for tax jurisdiction purposes as District of Columbia, aka United States. Accordingly, California is not included in this state within the above cited sections of the California Revenue and Taxation Code. The federal postal designation CA, however, is included in the state. Indirect confession, a confession that is inferred from the defendant's conduct, Black Seventh. Individual. The term individual means a citizen of the United States. 5 U.S.C. 552 AA2. C. Note. Endorsement. Endorsement means a signature other than that as a signer, as maker, draw, or acceptor. That alone or accompanied by other words is made of an instrument for the purpose of one, negotiating the instrument, two, restricting payment of the instrument, or three, incurring endorses liability on the instrument. But regardless of the intent of the signer, a signature and its accompanying words is an endorsement unless the accompanying words, terms of the instrument, place of the signature, or other circumstances unambiguously indicate that the signature was made for a purpose other than endorsement. For the purpose of determining whether a signature is made on an instrument, a paper affixed to the instrument is a part of the instrument. UCC 3204A, the act of a payee, drawee, accommodation, endorser, or hold of a bill, note, check, or other negotiable instrument, and writing his name upon the back of the same with or without qualifying words, whereby the property in the same is assigned and transferred to another. Blacks first. Endorser. Endorser means a person who makes an endorsement. UCC 3204B. He who endorses. In other words, being the payee or holder, writes his name on the back of a bill of exchange, etc. Blacks first. Endorsee. The person to whom a bill of exchange, promissory note, bill of lading, etc. is assigned by endorsement, giving him a right to sue thereon. Blacks first. Informant. See informer. Information. In practice, an accusation exhibited against a person for a criminal offense without an indictment. An accusation in the nature of an indictment from which it differs only in being presented by a competent public officer on his oath of office instead of a grand jury on their oath. In French law, the act or instrument which contains the depositions of witnesses against the accused. Blacks first. See note. Note the birth certificate fulfills all above definitions of an information. Informer, a person who informs or prefers an accusation against another whom he suspects of the violation of some penal statute. Blacks first, see note. 
prefer, to bring before, to prosecute, to try, to proceed with. Thus, preferring an indictment signifies prosecuting or trying an indictment. Blacks, six. Note, flesh and blood men and women are ruled neither by penal statutes nor any other kind of statute unless they are acting as surety for the trade name, in which case they are held accountable exactly as it would be. Statutes obtained only in this case of artificial persons, such as corporations and corporately colored entities like the trade name. On some birth certificates, the signatory is listed as an informer, as informer or informant, a term that carries criminal implications. Legally, a newborn is an undocumented enemy of the state, a public enemy. According to the Amendatory Act, March 9, 1933, to the Trading with the Enemy Act of October 6, 1917, any such informer, usually the mother, is informing on, in other words, lodging a formal complaint, accusation by deposition and identification of the baby. If an all capital letters trade name appears on a document, the informer may also prefer an accusation that the name as inscribed is attached with the infant associated therewith. This can serve as the basis for any subsequent insistence that the all capital letters trade name directly concerns you, the flesh and blood man, woman. See information, birth, accusation. Instrument. Instrument means a negotiable instrument or any other writing that evidences the right to the payment of a monetary obligation is not itself a security agreement or lease and is of a type that an ordinary course of business is transferred by delivery with any necessary endorsement or assignment. The term does not include one, investment property, two, letters of credit, or three, writings that evidence a right to payment arising out of the use of a credit or charge card or information contained on for use with the card. UCC 9102A47. An instrument is a note if it is a promise and is a draft if it is an order. If an instrument falls within the definition of both note and draft, a person entitled to enforce the instrument may treat it as either. UCC 3104E. Instrument means negotiable instrument. UCC 3104B. Insurance. One, an agreement by which one party, the insurer, commits to do something of value for another party, the insured, upon the occurrence of some specified contingency, especially an agreement by which one party assumes a risk faced by another party in return for a premium payment. Number two, the amount for which something or someone is covered by such an agreement. Black's seventh, a contract whereby for an agreed premium, one party undertakes to compensate the other for loss on a specified subject by specified perils. Bouvier's eighth, C note, FICA or Federal Insurance Contributions Act or FICA, in other words, Social Security Payroll Tax is not an insurance policy in the name of the party paying the premiums. See the curse of co suretyship in section three of part one of this manual. Inter alia, Latin for among other things, Barron's third. Internal Revenue Service, IRS, USC, USC, Title 26, section 1164, 62, Puerto Rico Special Fund Internal Revenue, 73rd Congress, session two, chapter 756, June 26, 1934, Congressional Record, page 1234, the United States of America, through undersigned counsel hereby respond to the number of paragraphs of plaintiff's complaint as follows. Denies that the Internal Revenue Service is an agency of the United States government. United States answer and claim. November 18, 1993, Betty H. Richardson, United States Attorney, Diversified Metal Products Incorporated versus Tebow Company Trust, Internal Revenue Service, and Steve Morgan. See note. Note, as revealed above, IRS is domiciled in Puerto Rico under Secretary of the Treasury of Puerto Rico, a.k.a. Secretary of the Treasury. IRS officers, agents, and employees are unregistered foreign agents conducting business in America in violation of the Foreign Agents Registration Act of 1938. Per signed brief referenced above from the United States Attorney, IRS is not an agency of the United States government. Investment property. Investment property means a security, whether certificated or uncertificated. Security entitlement, securities account, commodity contract, or commodity account, UCC 910449, involuntary suretyship, C suretyship. Jury, a certification added to an affidavit or deposition stating when and before what authority the affidavit or deposition was made. A jury typically says subscribe and sworn to me, subscribe and sworn to before me this day of month, year, Black's seventh. Juristic, of or related to law. A corporation is a typical example of a juristic person. Black's seventh. Pertaining or belonging to. 
or characteristic of jurisprudence or a jurist or the legal profession. Blacks fourth. See no juristic person. No, your corporation of one artificial person straw man has a juristic trade name and pertains and belongs strictly to jurisprudence and is a juristic person. Juristic person. See note. Note black seventh means mentions juristic person under the definition of artificial person, which is defined under person. Person and entity such as a corporation having the rights and duties of a human being. Blacks seventh. Artificial person. An entity such as a corporation created by law and given certain legal rights and duties of a human being, a being real or imaginary, who for the purpose of legal reasoning is treated more or less as a human being, also termed fictitious person, juristic person, legal person, Black's seventh. Note, the legal definition of human being is conveniently missing from the law dictionary containing the above definitions. The difference between a human being and an artificial person has been so blurred intentionally and legally by those who enrich themselves at your expense via the legal system, that the two terms are so overlapped, they are essentially indistinguishable. Treating people as numbers, corporations, etc., is the order of the day for governments, and the virulent hatred of mankind espoused by those who dominate the world has been legally justified through such specious subterfuge as the above definitions. See monster. The justiciable. Proper to be an examining courts of justice. Subject to action of court of justice, Blacks 4. See note. Note, matters strictly in the realm of common law and the UCC are not just or not justiciable. Are not justiciable matters. They are prejudicial, non-judicial matters of private consensual contract. Kangaroo court, a sham legal proceeding in which a person's rights are totally disregarded and in which the result is a foregone conclusion because of the basis of the court or other tribunal. Blacks fourth. Kol Nadri, the opening prayer recited on the eve of Yom Kippur, containing a declaration of the annulment of person of personal vows and oaths, all vows, obligations, oaths, and anathemas, whether called Konam, Konas, or by any other name, which we may, which we may vow or swear or pledge, or whereby we may be bound from this day of atonement until the next, whose happy coming we await. We do repent. May they be deemed absolved forgiven, annulled, and void, and made of no effect. They shall not bind us, nor have power over us. The vows shall not be reckoned vows. The obligations shall not be obligatory, nor the oaths be oaths. Jewish Encyclopedia 1901, Volume 5, page 539, C. Note. Yom Kippur, the Jewish Day of Atonement, a holiday marked by prayer and fasting, celebrated in late September or in October. The Double Dig Dictionary of 1965. Of 1975. Anathema, a formal ecclesiastical ban or curse, also any curse. From Funk and Wagnall's New College Standard Dictionary, 1947. Note, Kol Nadre is Hebrew for all vows, per the Jewish Encyclopedia. Any Jew invoking the prayer of Kol Nadre forswears all oaths, vows, obligations, etc., that will be taken in the coming year, thereby absolving himself in advance for dishonoring his sworn oath word. Children have a similar ritual for playing games wherein a child will cross his fingers and then hide his hand behind his back before giving his word, promising something. When confronted about the truth of his sworn statement, the child reveals that he had his fingers crossed and therefore was under no obligation to tell the truth at the time the oath vow was given. Potentially extremely dangerous consequences are afoot when dealing with someone who has taken the prayer of Cole Nadre, such as in a courtroom when one is dealing with judges, prosecutors, plaintiffs, and attorneys, as well as in any other honor contingent, trust dependent situation, because such devotees essentially have a self issued license for lying, bearing false witness, and ignoring obligations. Thus, the door is wide open for duplicity, deceit, and betrayal. However, adherents of this practice are nevertheless dependent upon its general unknownness for profiting from its application. Masons, also known to inhabit courtrooms, have a similar dishonor of oaths by the same name that is called into action for assisting and protecting fellow Masons in legal manners. Masonic Handbook, page 183. Regarding the Jewish Day of Atonement in Uncle Kippur, as revealed in a comparative article on Islam, Christianity, and Judaism, appearing in the September 24, 2001 edition of the Los Angeles Times, entitled Articles of the Faiths, Jews Make Amends. 
and ask for forgive and ask forgiveness for the purpose of restoring relations only with other Jews. In other words, by being reconciled with each other, Jews are reconciled with God. Law merchant, a system of customary law that developed in Europe during the Middle Ages and regulated the dealings of mariners and merchants in all the commercial countries of the world until the 17th century. Many of the law merchants principles came to be incorporated into the common law, which in turn formed the basis of the uniform commercial code, also termed commercial law, Lex Mercatoria, Black's seventh law of nations, a system of laws, a system of rules and principles established among nations and intended for the regulation of their mutual intercourse, otherwise called international law. Blacks first, law of nature, see natural law, law of the flag, see flag, law of, law of the land, due process of law, blacks first, legal fiction, something assumed in law to be fact, irrespective of the truth or accuracy of that assumption. Example, the legal fiction that a day has no fractions, Fields versus Farbanks, North Star Borough, 818, 658, 1991, Merriam's Webster's Dictionary of Law, 1996. A presumption of fact assumed by a court for convenience, consistency, or to achieve justice. There is an old adage, fiction arise from law and not law from fictions. The real life dictionary of the law. A legal fiction is an assumption that something that is or may be false or non-existent is true or real. Legal fictions are assumed or invented to help do justice. For example, bringing a lawsuit to throw a non-existent John Doe off your property used to be the only way to establish a clear right to the property when legal title was uncertain. Oren's Dictionary of the Law, see note. Assume, one, to take up or take responsibility for, to receive, to undertake, see assumption. Two, to pretend. Three, to accept without proof. Oren's Dictionary of Law. Assumption, formally transforming, formally transforming someone else's debt into your own debt, compared with guarantee. The assumption of a mortgage usually involves taking over the seller's mortgage debt when buying a property, often a house, Oren's Dictionary of the Law. Note, per the dictionary, a fiction is something created by the imagination. In the field of law, judges have used their imagination to develop an artifice that allows them to call the truth a lie and a lie the truth. This particular type of fiction is termed a legal fiction because it was fabricated within a legal profession. Essentially, it is the doctrine of pretending. Judges operate their court based on let's pretend and do so with license but without the inconvenience of having to inform you of what they have decided to pretend. Judges live in an artificial world based on pretense, lies and deceit, and are professional dissemblers. A legal fiction is an assumption of purported fact without having shown the fact to be true, valid, in other words, an assumption and acceptance with no proof. If one does not wish to be the victim of such chicanery, one must forever be on guard to challenge, rebut a judge's arbitrary presumptions and assumptions, such as the all caps trade name. Also, there's a widespread misconception that a corporation is a legal fiction. A corporation is not a legal fiction. Rather, it is a legal fact, but a fictitious entity nevertheless dissemble to conceal or disguise the true nature of intentions, feelings, etc., so as to deceive, to conceal one's true nature, intentions, etc., act hypocritically. Legal name. A person's full name as recognized in law consisting of a first name usually given at birth by baptism or christening and a last name usually a family name. Black's seventh under name. Note, one's legal name is the name of a legal person recognized in law. The only names recognized in law are those of artificial persons and are written in all capital letters. Your straw man's trade name is your true name corrupted into an all capital letters format recognized in law equal existing by force of or in contemplation of law, equal legal name, equal juristic name, equal juristic person, equal artificial person. Levy, one, the imposition of a fine or tax, the fine or tax so imposed. Two, the enlistment of soldiers into the military, the soldiers so enlisted. Three, the legally sanctioned seizure and sale of property, the money obtained from such a sale. And that's the, in the sense of a noun. And the next definition of levy comes from the verbal sense. Thus, or in the verb, verb sense. And this would be the first one would be uh, to impose or assess a final tax by legal authority. The second sense would be to enlist for service in the military. The third, to declare or wage a war. And the fourth, to take or siege property in execution of a judgment. And that's Black Seventh. 
license in international law, permission granted by a belligerent state to its own subjects or to the subjects of an enemy to carry on a trade interdicted by war, and governmental regulation, and governmental regulation, authority to do some act or carry on some trade or business in its nature lawful but prohibited by statute, except with the permission of the civil authority or which would otherwise be unlawful. Bouvier's eighth. When the power is exercised by municipal corporation, when the power is exercised by municipal corporations, a license is a requirement by the municipality of the payment of a certain sum by a person for the privilege of pursuing his profession or calling, whether harmful or innocent, for the general purpose of producing a reliable source of revenue. Bouvier's eighth. A license fee is a tax. Bouvier's eighth. In the law of contracts, a permission granted by a competent authority conferring the right to do some act which without such authorization would be illegal or would be a trespass or tort. Also, the written evidence of such permission. Blacks first, a permit granted by an appropriate governmental body generally for consideration to a person, firm, or corporation to pursue some occupation or to carry on some business, some business subject to regulation under the police power. A license is not a contract between the state and the licensee, but is a mere personal permit. Blacks six, a revocable permission a revocable permission to commit some act that would otherwise be unlawful. Blacks 7th. See note. Compare Marquis, Mark, Mark of the Beast. Note. Government has, via licensing, statutorily outlawed working and exchanging with others. In other words, the process of surviving except as a privilege. Privileges can be denied, suspended, and revoked. Licenses are issued only in the name of the artificial person, trade name. When one applies for a driver's license, one is doing so in the name of the straw man, and one is also affirming, attesting that the straw man is a driver, a special commercial status involved in the transportation of persons or property for hire or compensation, an occupation that is a subject of regulation under the police power. Police seek to enforce, maintain personal control. Lean, a qualified right of property which a creditor has in or over specified or so specific, specific property of his debtor, a security for the debt or charge or the performance of some act. Blacks first, a claim, encumbrance, or charge on property for payment of some debt, obligation, or duty. Blacks six, a fine imposed pursuant to the provisions of subchapter C of chapter 227 of this title and is a lien in favor of the United States. Post sentence administration 18, United States Code, subsection 3613, chapter 229. <laughs> A charge, hold, or claim upon the property of another as security for some debt or charge. The term connotes the right the law gives to have a debt satisfied out of the property to which it attaches, if necessary, by the sale of the property. Barron's third, a charge or security or encumbrance upon property. Black's fourth, see commercial lien. Note at House Joint Resolution 192 of June 5th, 1933. Lien, commercial or commercial lien. See commercial lien. Lean creditor. A. Lean creditor means any of the following. One, a creditor that has acquired a lien on the property involved by attachment, levy, or the like. Two, an assignee for benefit of creditors from the time of assignment. Three, a trustee in bankruptcy from the date of the filing of the petition. Four, a receiving equity from the time of appointment. B. Lean creditor does not include a creditor who, by filing a notice with the Secretary of State, has acquired only attachment or judgment lien on personal property or both. UCC 9102A52. Limited liability. Liability restricted by law or contract, especially the liability of a company's owners for nothing more than the capital they have invested in the business. See note. Note, limited liability is a fabrication and a fraud. No statute of limitations and no limited liability exists in commerce as per the maxims of law. Once a fraud, always a fraud. And a thing void in the beginning does not become valid by lapse of time. A limited liability person is, one, a creature of contract required to be insured and bounded, bound to and limited by the contractual terms and conditions of the insurance policy and bond, creating, defining, and underwriting the person's office. Two, obligated to prove solvency to participate in any public forum or jurisdiction by providing to any adverse party upon demand a copy of the insurance policy and bond or the said person's office prior to any court proceeding. And three, defined by the insurance policy and bond regarding the contractual terms and condition of said person's office, scope of authority, 
basis of functioning, identity, rank, liability, and solvency. The principles of equality under the law and the integrity of contracts demand that all public officials alleging legal authority to use deadly force exercise scrupulous integrity in the enforcement of the law said officials administer in compliance with contracts referencing and defining oath of office, job description, and the insurance policy and bond that define limit and underwrite said officials office. Live birth. Live birth means the complete expulsion or extraction from his mother of a product of human conception, irrespective of the duration of the pregnancy, which after such expulsion or extraction grieves or shows any other evidence of life, such as beating of the heart, pulsation of the umbilical cord, or definite movement of voluntary muscles, whether or not the umbilical cord has been cut or the placenta is attached. Heartbeats are to be distinguished from transient cardiac contractions. Respirations are to be distinguished from fleeting respiratory efforts or gasps. Model State Vital Statistics Acts and Regulations, 1992 Revision, United States Department of Health and Human Services, C. Note. Note, per above, you are a product of human conception. In other words, goods. C. Goods. Location of debtor. A. Place of business in this section. Place of business means a place where a debtor conducts its affairs. B. Debtor's location. General rules. Except as otherwise provided in this section, the following rules determine a debtor's location. 1. A debtor who is an individual is located at the individual's principal residence. 2. A debtor that is an organization and has only one place of business is located at its place of business. 3. A debtor that is an organization that has more than one place of business is located at its chief executive office. C. Limitation of applicability of subsection. B. Subdivision. B. Applies only if a debtor's residence, place of business, or chief executive office as applicable is located in a jurisdiction whose law generally requires information concerning the existence of a non-possessory security interest to be made generally available in a filing, recording, or registration system as a condition or result of the security interest obtaining priority over the rights of a lien creditor with respect to the collateral. If subsection B does not apply, the debtor is located in the District of Columbia as UCC 9307. Maker. Maker means a person who signs or is identified in a note as a person undertaking to pay. UCC 31035. The person who creates or executes a note that is issues it and in assigning the instrument makes the promise of a payment, makes the promise of payment contained therein. One who signs a check in this context, synonymous with draw. Blacks six. Man, a human being. Man, a human being. This definition cl includes not only the adult male sex of the human species, but women and children. Examples of offenses against men. Some are more immediately against the king. Others more immediately against the subject. Hawk PC Book 1. Offenses against the life of man come under the general name of homicide, which in our law signifies the killing of a man by a man. In a more confined sense, man means a person of the male sex, and sometimes it signifies a male of the human species above the age of puberty. It was considered in the civil or Roman law that although man and person are synonymous in grammar, they had a different acceptation in law. All persons were men. But all men, for example, slaves were not persons, but things. And that's from Bouvier 6. Maritime, pertaining to navigable waters. In other words, to the sea, ocean, great lakes, navigable rivers, or the navigation of, or commerce thereof. Blacks 6. Sea, navigable waters. Maritime jurisdiction. Jurisdiction over maritime causes is granted to federal district courts. Procedure in maritime actions is governed by the federal rules of civil procedure and supplemental admiralty rules. Blacks 6. Maritime law, the system of law which particularly relates to commerce and navigation, to business transacted at sea or related to navigation to ships and shipping, to seamen, to the transportation of persons and property by sea, and to marine affairs generally. Blacks 4. That which the Congress has enacted or the federal courts sitting in admiralty or in the exercise of their maritime jurisdiction have declared and would apply substantively in the United States. It is, it is federal law and jurisdiction to administer. It is vested in the federal courts, though not to the entire exclusion of the courts of the states. Blacks 6. Mark, a license to make reprisals. See letter of marquee. 1. A symbol, impression, or feature on something, usually to identify it 
or distinguish it from something else. Two, trademark. Three, service mark. Black seventh, compare marquee, letter of marquee, mark of the beast, service mark, trademark. Mark of the beast, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Revelation 13, 17, from the New Testament. See, note, Gentile, note at goods. Note, the word mark is synonymous with marquee, and both words have the same etymology. A common definition of the two is a license of reprisal. The definition of license in Blacks first is an international law, in other words, trade or commerce, permission granted by a belligerent state to its own subjects or to the subjects of the enemy to carry on a trade interdicted by war. As we have seen in the Amendatory Act of March 9, 1933 to the Trading with the Enemy Act of October 6, 1917, see Trading with the Enemy Act of October 6, 1917 and license. Citizens of the United States were legally declared as enemies of their own government to do business with its new enemy, the United States government, thereafter instituted wholesale licensing and issued marks, marquees, or licenses to the subjects of the enemy to carry on a trade interdicted by war, thus enabling American men and women to buy or sell and otherwise engage in trading with the enemy despite being at war. The chosen masses consider you nothing more than an animal, a beast, she Gentile, to be birthed and bred, herded and harvested, and sold and slaughtered as they see fit. For you as a beast to be identified and validated and permitted to buy or sell in today's industrial society, you must have a special mark, without which you are not allowed to participate. It is interesting that the word mark is also a synonym for the terms service mark and trademark. See service mark, trademark, the special marks used to identify and distinguish the services of a certain provider and products of a certain manufacturer or seller. See note at goods. Marquee, a letter of reprisal of an enemy, as at sea in wartime, chiefly in the phrase letter of marquee. See letter of marquee, compare mark. At this particular point in time, we're going to stop right here at Maternity Act of 1921. And definitely advise people to um, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. It definitely helps with the analytics. Please, people, like, share, and subscribe. Yes, people, like, share, and subscribe. Be peaceful, stay blessed. Pray to pass God's test. I will talk to you guys.